So you're a new player, and you're at the table, and you've got this big sheet of things that you can do, and it's your turn, but you don't know what to do. What do you do? Well, we're going to go over that today. Hi, my name is GR. This is Player Base, which is a channel about the study of the dynamics of play, which is ludology. And today, we're going to talk about the dynamics of player paralysis, which is very common with new players, particularly when you have an overabundance of options. It's, you know, the analysis paralysis that uh, player characters go through when they start any role-playing game is a known quantity. And we're going to go over a quick way to get through it without too much hassle and without having to really change anything, as well as addressing how do you avoid that in the future. OK, so here you are. You're at the table, and you're trying to work out, oh, man, OK, so there's uh, a door over there, and we're in this mansion, and the mayor doesn't know that we're here. But there's also a bunch of uh, thieves who are coming in through the other window, and they're not making any noise. But we have to inter. Oh man, what do I do? And I have this plus mat. How do I go through all this stuff? Well, it's real simple. The first thing is you don't look at your sheet, and I mean ever. Don't ever look at your sheet unless your game master tells you to. What you do is when someone tells you what's going on, which is the game master or one of the other players. You just think, ah, what's the most direct, most obvious action? I'm going to do that. And then when the results of that come apart, then you look at the current situation in the next turn, and you go, OK, well, now what's the most direct, obvious response? You don't have to know how fast you are or what your abilities are or what tools you have. You just kind of go, oh, shit, what do I do? And then you do that. And what you will find is, through making the most obvious and basic to you choices and actions, you will discover exactly what kind of player you are. And very often, you'll be surprised that who you are as a player doesn't necessarily match up with what you thought you needed in terms of the sets of fancy skeleton keys, which is what a player character sheet usually is, that you've put in front of yourself. And it's a very common issue that even experienced players have, which is uh, you know, the McConaughey problem. You know, they, they come to a game, and they're a conversationalist who really likes to get into it with non-player characters and engage in dialogue and diplomacy. But they always have some magical dwarf acts with them. And you know, they're like, oh, you know, Mr. Dungeon Master, I think it would be a great time right now in the middle of this uh, trade negotiation to pull out my plus 12 battle axe. And it, you know, it doesn't really fit. And you're constantly looking for a place with all the stuff that you have on the sheet. This happens to everybody. Where to put it? When do I get to use this bit? And that's fine, but if that's stopping you from actually playing the game or not having anxiety, disregard it. You could have eight 12 plus battle axes and some plus six swords too and just never use them and just go about whatever it is you want to do. And what you will find is, in doing that, the game's a lot easier. What seemed to be a daunting task is much more simple than you thought. And at the end of it, you'll get a better idea of what type of character you want to actually play. You know, people are very often kind of surprised when they find out I never play a wizard, despite all of this nerd stuff. And you know, the reason for that is because when I play Elf with Sword, I can do the things that I really enjoy doing in life and in games, which is you know, getting into conversations and being witty and sword play. Whereas opposed to when you have to play a wizard and you basically have to engage in some type of metaphysical fucking accounting all the time, which is not my power fantasy. <laughs> so I don't do that. And that's one of the great aspects of playing games, which is you learn what you actually like, not what you think you like. And you do that by just going, OK, what's next? It's really that simple. And you don't have to worry about not using the things on your sheet or totally disregarding it and, you know, rearranging the character all together. Because you'll find the less you look at the sheet, the happier you'll be. The sheet is a reference guide. It's not an instruction manual. And with that, I think we are done for the day. If there's more that you want me to talk about about this, you know, leave a comment. And for the rest of it, we will see you when we see you. I'm GR, and this is Play.